Hello, hello, everybody. I'm EJ, you're you, and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are feeling uh, smart because today we are building the museum on Ponderosa, a jungly museum. You love to see it. You need books, even in the jungle, right? So buckle in and get ready for another speed build. And remember, if you do like this content, why don't you hit the subscribe button? I mean, like, why not? Just like, like it. Why not leave a comment? You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's get into the video, y'all. Bye. Ugh, chatter. Guys, look who I have on my island. Deirdre, Deirdre, come say hey. Deirdre, Deirdre. As I have said in the intro, today we are going to be building the museum. Very exciting, very exciting. So this museum is gonna be up on a raised level. So the first thing I gotta do is just clear out these weeds and these trees. See, I'm doing it early this time. That should be, okay, my ax broke, great, okay. I'm just gonna go get a new one and then just do it early, they said. It'll be easy. It'll make everything easier and faster or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, so we're clearing out these trees to build up a raised platform for the museum. Now, the idea for the museum is that it's kind of like a, a an abandoned temple moment. That's definitely like a theme of this island, right? But I wanted this to feel very, um, you know, I feel like the museum already has like neoclassical architecture and everything. So it's already very stone, lots of marble. I was like, this lends pretty well to like, a, 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 you know, a temple, temple ruins. So I want it to feel like it's a temple that is like all the, it's fallen into disrepair. The tiles are still on the ground. The stone is still on the ground, but like there's grass popping through it. There's old statues and everything. Yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea. So I'm just filling in a giant spot, uh, a giant little raised platform um, of terraforming, of cliffs. That's what I'm saying. I got distracted. My cat is currently sitting in my lap while I record this. Um, so he's like, why are you talking? What is, what's happening? He's getting distracted and then I'm getting distracted um, from recording the voiceover. Isn't that right, Thomas? Thomas Nookus. That's not his name, don't worry. His name is Thomas, but it's not Tom Nook. Bam! New stairs! So now, the next thing I'm doing, I'm building up these cliffs because I want the museum to be directly on, like, above where we are standing right now and, like, basically up against the edge of the cliff. And now I'm basically just um, spacing out the uh, museum where I want it to go. It's going to be up on the third level, but I want to make sure before I make the third level that I have enough room. So I'm spacing out like exactly where I want it to go. Yeah, that's why I'm walking out. Now I'm building up that third level. We love it. Lots of building up cliffs at the very beginning of this, um, this build. Wanted to add on this little extra area. I, it, the, the museum is gonna be kind of like tucked in there. That seems to be a theme of my mine. Um, I really just tend to tuck the museum in places. Um, I did that on Quadratini, now I'm doing it on Ponderosa. So. so I wanted to make sure that I was maximizing um, my tree area around it. Um, so I added in that little extra ledge. And there, the museum's built. I just find it a lot easier whenever we're doing these areas to have the actual building that we're um, designing around there as soon as possible, really, because you can't really envision it um, without it. And then I'm doing a land bridge moment. We love a land bridge moment. Now this is different from the land bridge on Quadratini. It's much thinner. I want it to feel a lot more kind of precarious, I guess. Um, but it's more of like a suspension bridge than uh, the one on Quadratini was like a train railroad bridge. 
so it's thinner. I have this great wood slats pattern. If you want this wood slats pattern, which you should, right? It's beautiful. Um, the creator code is in the uh, description as always, all my creator codes always in the descriptions. I mean, I'm going to pick up some trees, drop off. I had to empty out my pockets to make some room for the bamboo trees and the hardwood trees. Um, I wanted to use a lot of bamboo in this area because I like how skinty she is. And also she just she just gives off the temple vibes that I need in my life, you know? And now I'm just picking up some materials and a few different pieces of furniture that I think I will use. Um, I moved my DIY bench up here just so I could be already up here, ready to go and just craft everything as I needed to. Now I'm using bamboo partitions to be the sides of my land bridge. Um, so I'm customizing all of them and making all of them. And then I'm gonna put them right up against the edge of this little bridge. Now, as you can see, this is like walled off on this side, and that's kind of temporary. That's not going to be there um, in the final build. There's going to be more um, cliffs and things along the left edge in the final thing. Um, but I just wanted to put those there for the time being. And yes, I did just put down two trees and then immediately dig them back up and switch them. Um, and the reason I did that is just because um, I wanted to give more space behind the trees than in front of them because it's already like a vertical drop. So just in terms of sight lines, it worked out a little bit better. And there we go, trees planted. Now we're gonna plant some trees up by the museum just cause I wanna get all the trees out of the way um, so I can go pick up other furniture items. And yes, of course, it's a Ponderosa build. So we're putting a tree on the edge of a cliff because you know, it just wouldn't be a Ponderosa build without a tree on a cliff. More trees, more trees, and now that the trees are lit done, it is time to place down some furniture, starting with a lovely stone arch. I think this really pulls together the whole land bridge and also really just already adding to the temple vibes. Um, now I'm putting down, of course, custom designs underneath all these bamboo things. I don't know why I didn't do that at the beginning, um, but you know, we did it now, so. Better late than never, right? That's what I always say. <laughs> And then the idea for down here is I'm going to do a mixture of like plant furniture and flowers and custom designs and like bushes. Just I really want it to feel overgrown, lush, full of greenery and all that jazz. All that jazz. My tools really just did not want to stick around for this build, huh? But anyways, I'm picking up shrubs and picking up flowers um, to go back. I had to come back here a few times and you can see the disaster that is my house area right now because it is just basically a holding area for different materials and furniture and flowers. Now down here, I really am trying to put as many different colors and types of tr um, flowers next to each other. I want to make sure I'm not like repeating as much as possible, repeating flower breeds. So like I don't want two mums next to each other, for instance, um, and I don't want two green or not green. There's only one green flower, but two orange flowers next to each other. I think it just makes, the, the, you know, it just like, it adds to the visual interest, makes it look a lot lusher, all that. And we're all about lushness, right? Is that gonna be my buzzword for the video? Lush? Okay, lush. Putting down the last few flowers and bushes. And with that, I think we are basically done with the lush area around uh, our bridge. 
There we go. Got to take a little mid-process selfie. <laughs> I do love a Landbridge selfie. Um, and next thing we're going to work on is the area in front of the museum. Now, this is going to be more of like the proper temple area. So I'm making a lot of stone things, some jail bars, and I'm going to, of course, make them look rusted, mossy, old, all that stuff. That's like the other theme of Ponderosa, I guess, is old. <laughs> old, lush, vertical, mm, Ponderosa. Now, the design codes that I'm using here for the bricks are actually design codes that I found when I was doing my path video. Um, and it is one of the design codes featured in that video, that very video. Um, the creator code will be down, uh, downstairs, <laughs> down in the description below. So check it out. Of course, a Moai statue is making an appearance. Also, like, apologies. I have been pronouncing these Maui for some reason. And I think it's just because, like, I'm used to seeing that. But I actually looked at the word and I was like, oh, my gosh, I've just been completely reading this wrong. It's Moai. Um, that's the statues from Easter Island. Um, they're usually burial statues, actually, which I think is interesting. Um, so that's just a fun thing. <laughs> I was doing some research about them because I figured if I'm using these uh, statues from an indigenous culture, I might as well know what they're about, right? And then of course, um, since I couldn't put another tree next to the museum, I put some jail bars just to add some <clears throat> verticality. And of course a wind turbine. I really love the wind turbines. They're like just such a fun little movement piece um, and they're very tall and I like tall things. Lots of trees, lots of flowers, lush, lush, lush. That's the, that's the theme of this build. I keep saying these three freaking buzzwords. And watch as I struggle with these jail bars. Incredible, no? Had to get down, go around, get down. Ugh, it was the worst. <laughs> I keep doing this to myself. Now I gotta get some more materials for torches and pick up some last few flowers just to fill in uh, the museum area. And then back, back, back we go. I really struggled with the placement of the tiki torches because they were like directly behind the stone arch. And I was like trying to make sure that they were visible, but it just wasn't working. You'll see in a second using this warrior statue here, because that feels very, uh, you know, temple-y. And then I, ooh, I love this. I put the stone head statue back here. Gotta have the stone head statue, right? Or rock head, whatever. Um, and it's like kind of peeking out through the bushes. It feels so kind of like ooky spooky almost. I love it. Here's the um, torch struggle that I was speaking of earlier. See, it's like blocked by the bamboo tree there. It's blocked by the hardwood tree. So I scooch them in, but then they're blocked by the stone pillar. I think they ended up like, okay, but definitely not. Ugh, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. But we are getting down to it. This is really the last touches. And in fact, I think I just have to craft this bamboo lamp and then we're gonna be done. There she is, mama. Ta za. So here's the area a little slower. Maybe you can appreciate it now. I really like how this worked out because I was really struggling with the museum in general in terms of like thinking about it um, on Ponderosa just because it is so, you know, it has that neoclassical architecture that isn't necessarily giving off jungle vibes. It doesn't scream jungle to you. Um, so I really like that this design kind of shrouds the museum. If that, you know, I don't want to hide it, but I kind of do. Um, and obviously I love that I got to incorporate a land bridge in there. That was the build y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Um, also, thank you guys so much for your response to the last build. It was really awesome. It really like made my day at work getting all of your comments. So this time, if you watch to the end, I want you guys to leave a comment down below telling me your favorite monkey villager because jungle, right? Cool. All right, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.